For project of this course, so in this video, we are going to be creating this interchangeable background color UI by just using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So now let's suppose if I click on this purple, so it will now change the background color to purple. If I click on this blue, so it will now change it to blue. Same so will go to red, green, yellow, and teal. So this is what we are going to be building in this project. So without wasting any further time, now let's jump right into our coder and write our code. So in this video, we are going to be creating a website which can just change its color once we click on a specific <laughs> color. All right, so now let me just create a folder like 044 interchangeable website background color. All right, so inside this interchangeable background color, we are going to be creating three files. The first one will be index.html and the second one will be style.css and the third one will be app.js and now let me just make it a bit bigger so that we can see everything a bit clear all right so first of all we are going to be writing our doc type html and here we are going to be just writing like interchangeable uh, background color and now let's just link that to our css file and also with our javascript as well so now let me just hide this uh, metadata from here right click on it and open it with a live server and just remove that previous project and for html we are not going to be writing a crazy html but we have to write something so let me just write a div with a class of content container inside this div with a class of content container we have a nav with a class of nav okay and inside there we are going to have a few inputs so the first one will be let's write an input and it will be the type will be button and also let's just write a value and value will be like purple okay and then just provide a class to it like btn and purple okay so let me just duplicate a few times like blue red green yellow and teal okay so let me just zoom out a bit so that we can see everything a bit clear so now let's just select both of them and change it to blue okay and now let's just select both of them and hit ctrl d to select the same one so then we have to just write a red it will change it to red now let's just select this purple and change it to green and finally not finally but we still have one left just write a yellow and that's our yellow then finally we have to select or teal and that's our teal all right so this is it about for html and now let's jump right into our css and just start with styling it a bit so let me just make it a bit bigger the margin will be zero padding will be zero box sizing will be border box okay so that's that the next thing which you have to select is your body and just write a background of rgb and now let's just change this one to 28 copy it and paste it right here and also it will be like 35 okay and now let me just remove that back tick from there save it and this is how it looks like right now so the next thing which you have to do is to select this button class and this button class is for all of these buttons right here so now let me just select that so let me just select this button right here and here we are going to be just writing like a padding of 10 pixel from top and bottom 20 pixel from left and right cursor will be pointer and then we have to just write a border of none and now let's just add our color of totally white okay and now let's just add our border of two pixels solid white and then we have to give them a little bit of width like 120 pixel and the height will be just 100 pixel and then we have a margin of 20 pixels save it and this is how it looks like right now okay so we want to see how our mouse over to here so it will change our cursor to pointer so now let's make it center so for that we are going to be selecting our um what do we call it this content container let me just grab that from there pass it right there and now let's just center it height will be 100 vh and our display will be totally flex uh flex direction will be column justify items will be center and align items will be center save it and this is how it looks like right now so now let's just change uh each of them like let's just change the background color of each of them like purple blue red green yellow and teal so now let's just select each of them and change the background color of it so the first thing i would do is i would select the purple one and change the background color of it to purple okay so now let's just duplicate a few times and this one will be now equals to uh let me just hit ctrl d and just duplicate both of them and change that to blue and duplicate it one more time and then change it to red and the final not final but we still have a few left like green and now let me just 
duplicate two times and then let me select both of them right now and change this one to yellow and finally and change this one to teal okay so i think we are good to go right now so let me just add a spacing in here because this code looks really ugly once you're seeing this in our github repository anyhow so this will be it for github not a github but this will be it for styling right here and this will be it for html okay so if you check that so this is how it looks like right now so the next thing which i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna uh you know what let me just change the font uh font weight of it to like bold and text transform to uppercase all right so i think these looks cool not cool but these look something to work with all right so now let me just zoom in a bit and now let's just jump right into a javascript and just provide a little bit of interactivity to our side so the first thing i would do is i'll just write a button we will just select all of our button so i'll just write query selector and all and because we want to grab all of our buttons so now let me just show you that like buttons save it and now let me just open my console and if we check so we have all of these button right here okay so now we successfully selected that let me remove them and now the next thing which i'm going to do is that we have to iterate all through them um yeah let me just iterate all through them by just using a for each for each and now let's just write a button and just write a button dot add event listener and it will be now equals to click and let me just type it okay so that's there all right so now we are cool so now inside this one we are going to be writing a variable of number it will be now equals to btn dot value and you're going to see that just in a second like what i'm doing and now here we are going to be placing that with a change background uh yeah change background will be fine and then here we are going to be placing this number into this change background function so now let's just create this change background function really quickly zoom out a bit so that we can see everything a bit clear and also let me grab my body as well so const body will be equals to document dot body okay so that's there and we have to also provide a number as a parameter so for that we can just write uh number all right so now we already select our body so now we want to change the class name class name and it will be now equals to nothing like empty class name and here we are going to be using a switch and cases so switch to this parameter of number and now let's just check for a first case and if the class is equal to purple so we want to change uh the body dot class list dot and we want to add this purple class to it okay so uh, let me just show you that really quickly so let me just break out of it so now if we click on this purple so here you can see it will now change the background color if you click on the blue one so nothing's going to happen right here okay so if you click on the purple here you can see we have the purple color right here as a background and now let me just write it more cases so i'll just write case two and it will be now equals to blue if that's blue so we want to write a body dot class list dot add of blue color okay and these classes are coming from uh this css right here okay so now let me just try the uh, break out here and case of the third one we have a red color and now let me just add that like body dot class list dot add and then just red color and break out from it as well now let me just write the next one which will be green and now let's just write a body dot class list dot add of green and break out from this loop and now let me show you the next one which will be for yellow so I'll just write like yellow and let me just show you body dot class list dot add and then yellow and break out from it and then finally case of teal we are going to be providing a teal color of body dot class list dot add of teal color and then we have to also break out from this loop and finally we have a default state and here we have to just break save our file and everything should work the way we expect them to work so if you click on the purple so it will change the background to purple if we click on the blue one so it will change the background color to blue same will goes to the red green yellow teal and so on and so forth okay so you can choose and you can provide how many colors you like but in my case i just went for these few of them because these are really like 
basics colors that's why i've choose them anyhow so that was what i want to show you in this project so now if you guys don't know about git and github so feel free to skip this video and jump right into the next project and if you guys do know git and github and want to push your code into your github repository so that's what i'm going to do right now all right so now let me just open my terminal first of all i'm going to just write git status and then we are at the 044 so now let's just add everything and then git commit dash m of um i don't know what was the name interchangeable uh <laughs> background uh background color so now i'm gonna hit enter so that's the commit finally let's just have to push it into our github repository and our code is live so now let's just refresh our browser and this is how it looks like let me just show you the 044 so here you can find the code so we have index.html file and we have this app.js file for javascript if you want to grab this code and then we have a style.css file and if you want to grab this code so you are more than welcome to do that all right so this is what i want to show you in this video so i guess that will be it for now and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye